but uh, they've been very well represented this weekend and have uh, given themselves a really good name. Uh, we'll have to wait and see where the future takes them, depending on how this weekend shapes up for them. But there's uh, big things ahead for both of the guys on the front row, and they are set and poised, ready to go. Last few people set themselves into position. Last few people leave the grid as well, and that is the sight they have from the run from the start line down towards turn number one in what is, as we said, rising conditions now. The temperature is starting to build, which is nice. Gives us a great end to the weekend. And very shortly, they'll be setting off on the first of two formation laps, ready to get this X30 mini final underway. Engines fired up then as the X30 Mini class heads away on the first of two formation laps and this is the final action for them here in Italy this weekend. It's been a great season with uh, rounds that have taken place in Genk in Belgium where the winner of the final was Bart Ploeg. We went then, there, then went to Salbury in France where the winner was our championship leader, Lawrence Van Hoopen. Next up, we were at uh, Wackersdorf in Germany. Winner there was our newbie, which was Ugo Okashukwu. And then here this weekend, who are we going to get? So far today, we've had the pre-final win for Lawrence Van Hoopen. And here's the man who starts this one from uh, pole position. But alongside him, one of the championship contenders, we've got Diego Larocque for company on that front row. Back on row number two, we then have the likes to look forward to in this one of uh, Bart Ploeg. He is there with Kimi Abraham alongside. And then further back on row number three, we have Nathan Ossink and Lorenzo Ciani, the Frenchman who did well in the pre-final to get up to sixth place. Row four then lines up with the likes of uh, Louis Hofbeck with Sita Van Mert, the female driver there in eighth place. And row five then sees Max Meyer work to do from the back. He has struggled so far this weekend. As we spoke to him on the grid, he said he's just got to go for it, see what he can do and hope for the best. But it's all guns blazing now for Max Meyer in this final race of the year. And alongside him is going to be Ekaterina Lucia to round out the 10 starters for this mini race. The speed now starting to build as they head their way through on towards that second formation lab. And then they'll start to slow themselves down once they're off the hairpins at turns 10 and 11. They'll then get themselves into formation as one of the carts there tries to catch up. I think that was possibly Nathan Ottink, who is just a little bit further back on the uh, what will be inside run down towards the first corner. So he will be there ready to go from fifth on the grid. But who is going to be crowned the champion? Lawrence Van Hoopen is the man who leads it coming into this final race after a pre-final win, 257 points. Second is Bart Ploeg, the Dutchman, on 245. And joint third, Max Meyer and Diego Laroc on 239 points. Lawrence Van Hoopen, if he gets the win, that is job done. If he falls any further back, it's going to be a question on how his rivals do to where he will finish in the championship. But he's got one hand, as we said, on that trophy. Can it be the two hands by the end of this race? We're about to find out as the mini drivers head their way down towards the last couple of corners. This is where they start to slow themselves right down, hoping that uh, all the warmth and temperature has been built into the tyres and into the brakes. And they'll set themselves up for the race start, ready for what's going to be a 13-lap mini race here for the final. And they are set to join everyone out there on the grid, ready to get themselves into a fighting battle for a championship to be decided at the end of the 13 laps. Slightly over the lines there was the number 913 machine of Lawrence Van Hoopen, but he's now back in his grid slot, and we're ready to go for the final as the lights go out now, and away we go, down towards the first corner. Pretty even start there, just dropping back slightly with Diego Larocque, who's going to be under attack from the inside line, because down through there goes the machine of Bart Ploeg. So he gets straight up into second place, and also trying to come through as well there. Looks to be the... Uh, card of Nathan Otting. Diego LaRock has held on to third place for the time being, but Nathan Otting has got through into fourth place. He's had a good start from the inside run, as you'd expect, but out front on this first lap so far, Lawrence Van Hoopen leads the train down towards the end of the back straight. Completely dry conditions now. No real wet patches on the race line. So everyone has gone for slicks tyres, as we said. They're all going to have to funnel themselves through and get into some sort of formation on this one. And already Lawrence Van Hoopen looking behind him. He knows he isn't as quick in the dry conditions. 
in the two wet races we've had this weekend he's flown away by over six or seven seconds but for now he's got work to do to try and defend from those around him it's Lawrence Van Hoopen who's going to lead lap number one as he heads down to the last couple of corners second place at the minute is Bart Ploeg looking very racy there to try and get to the inside line and on that tail as well is the championship contender of Diego Larocque as they go in towards the first corner and there goes the move from Bart Ploeg Lawrence Van Hoopen now drops down to second place straight away then as we head on to lap number two we've had to change already as they work their way through the flick flag of turns three and four out wide there goes Bart Ploeg which now puts him under threat once again from Lawrence Van Hoopen and there with them is still Diego Larocque and also Nathan Otting having a great great weekend so far a fight back on the inside there from both of the drivers as Lawrence Van Hoopen and also now Diego Larocque go through for first and second place and all over the grass goes our leader at the line that time through which was uh, Bart Ploeg he's been pushed wide dropped down to fourth place so all of those drivers have gone through and there goes the inside line Nathan, Nathan Otting up into second place so he's got the move done as he moves past one of his similarly liveried carts and through once more goes uh, Diego Larocque so these two are having a great battle but that's just going to allow Lawrence Van Hoopen to pull away out front and that gap is extending already on lap number two as they go through once more two laps now talked into the book as side by side behind comes Bart Ploeg and Max Meyer making progress through the field a great start from Max now from ninth on the grid he's up into fourth place by the time they reach turn number three so great job Max Meyer is doing there he's fighting for this race he's fighting for the championship but can he do enough to finish well ahead of Lawrence Van Hoopen he'll need to have Lawrence outside the top five if he wants to have a chance of wrapping up the championship which is going to be a really hard task uh, for the Spanish licensed uh, racer he lies there at the minute in fourth position under attack from Bart Ploeg still as they come through on towards the right hander at turn number 10 and in fact Bart Ploeg has now gone back ahead of Max Meyer and are saying to each other work together let's try and catch the top three let's not ruin this race for all of us we need to be there or thereabouts when the checker flag is waved which is a long way away because lap three is just about to be chalked off as Lawrence Van Hoopen is extending his margin once more is it going to be to a second this time round or has it come down between him and Nathan Otting it's come down fractionally by the looks of it Although Lawrence Van Hoopen has just gone and done the quickest lap of the race as Nathan Otting runs wide and Diego Larocque gets back through there. So the fighting continues for second and third places, which is what, not, not what they need to be doing, really. They need to be working as hard as possible to catch up with Lawrence Van Hoopen. As you can see, is the quickest man on circuit with that 56.707. Nathan Otting now drops down to third place. Only just so. He's still right on the tail of Diego Larocque in second position. Fourth place is out of Bart Ploeg with uh, company from Max Meyer. Then there's now a gap back to sixth place, which is uh, Louis Hofbeck. Behind them, we then see in seventh place, which is Sita Van Mert. Eighth place for uh, Lorenzo Cioni. Ninth place for Ekaterina Lucia. And Kimi Abraham, struggling again in the dry conditions, now finds uh, himself down in tenth position. So Kimi struggling in tenth as they come through to complete lap number four, the leaders. Lawrence Van Hoopen now leads by 1.3 seconds, so a bigger margin now between him and second place man, which is Diego Larocque. Can't quite catch up with the race leader, and in fact he's struggling and starting to hold up Nathan Otting, who has in turn been caught by both Bart Ploeg and Max Meyer. So we've got a four-way train for second place now, which wakes its way on towards the back straight. Bart Ploeg, who is in that battle somewhere, there he is, 917. He is the quickest man on the circuit that time round and quickest of anyone on this lap in sector one. So he's looking to go even quicker. Can he make his way through? Well, there's one taken off now, and that is him past the likes of Nathan Otting. Let's see if he can get past uh, Diego Larocque as quick as possible. As those four carts head again down towards the uh, hairpin at turn number 11. Through also goes Max Meyer now jumping ahead of Nathan Otting. So it was looking pretty good for Nathan, but now he's down into fifth position as they complete lap number five. Lawrence Van Hoopen is going to lead by over two seconds by the looks of it through this time. In fact, no, 1.8 seconds. Not quite there as of yet. And again, Lawrence Van Hoopen is the quickest man on circuit, 56.289. That's the reason he's extended his margin out front. But now we've got a new second place man. We did have, maybe not for much longer, because sideways there was uh, the cart of Bart Ploeg. He's now ahead of Diego Larocque as they went through turns one and two. But now Diego Larocque tries to fight back. The American down off the straight doesn't get to the inside of Bart Ploeg, who holds on to the place in towards the hairpin at turn eight, but still so, so close between these four carts. Slightly wide there from Bart, so he loses the place. Nope, still holds on ahead of Diego Larocque. Behind them, Max Meyer in fourth place and Nathan Otting in fifth position. They'll turn their way on towards the next of the hairpins down at turn number 11. And it's the run back to the start-finish line through the left and right flick of tw turns 12 and 13. Anyone going to look for a move 
at the final corner. Doesn't look like it. Not really in overtaking places. A very quick final corner on this Italian circuit. It's down at turn one where we may see a change for second place. Let's have a look and see if anyone goes through. Nope, they all stay the same off camera. I can tell you that. So Bart Ploeg is uh, doing the job at the minute to hold on from third place man, which is uh, Diego LaRocque. Then behind that, we have the likes of Max Meyer doing well now. As we said, ninth on the grid after the disappointing pre-final. But now Max Meyer there or thereabouts, although he's under attack from Nathan Otting once again as they head off the back straight down through turn number seven and work their way in towards the first of the hairpins on the lap at turn number eight. Behind them, by the way, just to let you know, still a good fight going on from sixth on backwards. You've got Sita Van Mert in there. You've got Kimi Abraham, who's now moved up to seventh place. Eighth place for Louis Hofbeck. Ninth place for Lorenzo Ciani. And tenth place is Ekaterina Lucia in this race. And the whole field, in fact, is covered by just six seconds. Bear in mind, the leader has a two and a half second lead. So that's how close it is from second on backwards. But Lorenz Van Hoopen, even in the dry conditions, he does well. And he's looking very, very comfortable to take the championship if he can hold on to this lead, which it looks very, very good at the minute. Diego Larocque was just hidden across the line there. I didn't quite see him in third place, but he was hidden so small behind the uh, likes of Bart Ploeg. One of the smallest drivers on the grid is uh, Diego Larocque, but very well-spoken lad indeed. Puts him in good stead for the future in what he wants to achieve in terms of car racing, if he wants to head that way in the future. But for now, he's fully focused on his early stages of karting, and he's trying to get past the second-place man once more, Bart Ploeg, who is all over the road there. So can Diego Larocque look for a move? Not at turn 10, he can't, so he stays in formation still being hassled by Max Meyer as well they're in fourth place and they've just about now dropped the fifth place man of Nathan Otting because Max Meyer runs wide kicks up a bit of the dirt on the exit of turn number 11 but still runs there in fourth place as the second third and fourth place guys head across the line there's Lauren Van Hoopen going through in towards the first corner and we're now two-thirds race distance completed nine laps we are about to go on to or the ninth lap we're about to head on to Second, third and fourth coming through once more. They're very rapid indeed as they all bunch back up together. Looks like Nathan Otting has just managed to hold on to the tail of those three ahead of him. And the man ahead of him, Nathan Otting, Max Meyer, is now the quickest man on circuit. So with a little bit of clear track that time round, even with a mistake, he's done the quickest time of 56.109, which is fractionally quicker than what uh, Lawrence Van Heupen did as his fastest just a couple of laps ago and here comes Max Meyer for a move now on Diego Larocque that's the chance to go and get the job done which he does so Max Meyer moves up into third place which is going to be a podium for now can he hold that till the end of the race if he stays there I reckon it's going to be third in the championship for Max Meyer because Diego Larocque and Max are on the same amount of points coming into this uh, final race of the year so it could be Max Meyer who just clinches third in the championship which is the all-important place that he needs to be to grab a World Finals ticket for Le Mans in October, which he'll be ruined for, and hoping he gets himself there. Over 400 drivers expected to take part in that event towards the end of next month. It's going to be a cracking event. Make sure you catch the action uh, from the World Finals. Always a really, really exciting event as the second-place fight heads its way off the back straight, down towards the hairpin at Turn 8. Very wide there at the back was Nathan Ottink, but he now... He's got to try his best to get past Diego Larocque, who's ahead of him in what's going to be fourth place. And Max Meyer makes his move for second now, down the inside line of Bart Ploeg, who he pushes wide. Can Bart Ploeg fight back at turn number 11? Nope, he stays now behind Max Meyer. And we'll see if Max Meyer can carry the speed to catch up with the race leader, Lawrence Van Hoopen, who's now 2.8 seconds to the good in the lead. As he comes through to complete lap number 10, we've only got a couple more laps to go now. So Lawrence Van Hoopen on his way down towards turn one, and he extends his gap that time to three seconds. First time in the race he's been able to do that and the first time in dry conditions this weekend he's had a margin over a second because all the heats yesterday he was involved in he didn't win by that much at all so Lawrence Van Heupen now back on form in dry conditions quickest man on circuit once more with a 55.927 as they head down the back straight let's see if anyone can make a move on this occasion Dega Larocque by the way has moved back ahead of um, Max Meyer who's had a mistake for some reason he went off and wide I reckon down at turns at three and four there so Max Meyer work to do once more. He drops himself off the podium. I move back ahead on this lap, though, of Nathan Otting up into fourth place. And there's more great action coming this way in towards turn 11. As down the inside line there goes Max Meyer, still defending hard from Nathan Otting. But they're now both losing ground to second and third as Bart Ploeg and Diego Larocque start to work together as they head through now onto lap number 12 within this race. This one and one more to go as the fight for second still comes through. 
tapped up behind the rear of Bart Ploeg is still Diego Larocque looking racy once more at the end of this one. And let's see if he can get a move done before we see the chequered flag. Larocque is pushing hard, not using as much of the exit curb as Bart Ploeg. So he is staying nicely tucked in behind as they work the way on towards the back straight once more. Lawrence Van Hoopen still leads. Second place for Bart Ploeg. Third place is Diego Larocque. Fourth place is then that of uh, Max Meyer. Fifth place sees Nathan Ottink. Sixth place, uh, sixth place, sorry, Cita Van Mert. Seventh place then for Ekaterina Lucia. Behind that in eighth place is Kimi Abraham. Ninth place for Louis Hofbeck. And tenth place is Lorenzo Tioni, who rounds out the field uh, for the mini runners so far. And Max Meyer fights back again on Nathan Ottink, who had just got the place back. And he's going to hold it on the exit of the corner as well. Nathan Ottink, he runs to the final turn in towards the left-hander. He's going to take the place away. So Nathan now moves back into fourth place. I think that's as far as he's going to go because the two ahead of him have now pulled a gap of 1.6 seconds. They are well and truly up the road and looking good to get themselves on the podium. But the man out front on his last lap now, Lawrence Van Hoopen, works his way on towards the back straight for the final time. It's not quite set for second place. Those two are still fighting very hard indeed. See who's going to take the next step behind Lawrence Van Hoopen. And let's see if uh, Diego Larocque can make a move. Just keeping an eye on that one out the commentary box window as it comes through in towards turn number eight. And Larocque is still behind for now on the back of Bart Ploeg as Lawrence Van Hoopen turns through the right-hander at turn 10. Then onto the full flowing left hander at turn 11. There's going to be two more corners to go. And with the win in his sights, Lauren Van Hoopen will not just be the winner here in the final, but looking to be the champion as well in the mini championship as he comes through the last corner. Lauren Van Hoopen is going to be the winner of the final race of the season. And more importantly, the champion within the mini class this year. Lauren Van Hoopen is a delighted Dutchman as he works his way through on this slowing down lap. He looks to the stands uh, for a little bit of a heads up there to see if he's got the championship but Lawrence Van Hoopen you've taken and you've done what you needed to do wins today in the pre-final and final that is good enough to be your champion that is a great drive from Lawrence Van Hoopen he wins by 3.8 seconds with a great fight for seconds towards the end as well between Bart Ploeg and Diego Larocque that's how they came through but Lawrence Van Hoopen wins that race 13 laps just over 12 minutes and he is going to be a very happy chappy once he comes into the pit lane very shortly he's taking a very slow uh, cooling down lap here because he's going to take it all in and get the uh, celebratory cheers from everyone around the circuit as well but many congratulations winner and champion Lawrence Van Hoopen for WJS Racing second place goes the way of Bart Ploeg by 3.8 seconds third place is then going to be the American Diego Larocque who may have just uh, secured himself third within the championship we'll have to wait and see the confirmation on that one. Max Meyer is then going to be through in fourth place. Behind that in fifth place is going to be Nathan Otting. Sixth place is going to be Sita Van Mert. Seventh place, Louis Hofbeck. Eighth place, the way of Kimi Abraham. Ninth place then for Ekaterina Lucia. And to round out your top ten, it'll be that of Lorenzo Tioni, who comes through there with uh, a tenth place finish. I think there's a few dramas for Lorenzo at the end there. The cart's sounding very ill, along with Louis Hofbeck as well. That cart not sounding... Uh, too great but there is your champion across the line for one last time in towards the pit lane he's about to head Lawrence Van Hoeven does it with 263 points second place in the championship this all provisional of course is going to be Bart Ploeg on 253 points third place just squeezing through to take that third place in fact was Max Meyer he does it by one point over Diego Larocque all of course taking in consideration the drop score event so Max Meyer third He'll get that ticket for the uh, World Finals in October. And then behind that, Diego Larocque in fourth. And Cita Van